the coolest white guy you know. What? I said the coolest white guy everybody knows. You're the coolest white guy everybody knows? <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. No, seriously, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> To another video, guys. We are up here in the garage, and I got my main man Jerry right here, the coolest white guy everybody knows. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So from the title, this shouldn't be a surprise. Uh, the discussion we're gonna get into. These are the three bikes that Harley Davidson is going to shing 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 cut off for the rest of forever now. Um, yeah, so Harley Davidson is cutting some fat around. Uh, and the three bikes, we'll start with the number one bike, which is the Sportster 1200. Iron, Iron 1200, yeah. Yeah, the Sportster Iron 1200. Um, this was a bike that last year when we made the video, just FYI, we, we made a, a video last year mm -hmm. uh, talking about certain bikes that were gonna go out and we were half right about, we were mostly right about mostly most of them. Right. There was like maybe two or three that, that we weren't right about. Um, so this is gonna be this year's video. And this year actually, two of those bikes are actually <clears throat> going by. Like. Yeah, the ones that we were wrong about last year are, are going by by this year. So the Sports of 1200 um, is now gonna be gone. Um, this is, by the way, this is for the US market guys. I know that for the rest of the world, they're like basically gone. Um, but for the US market, we're only gonna, as far as the Sportsters, we're gonna have the 883 and the 48. And now the the new Sports S. The Sports S, which is gonna be just it's classified on its own. Um how do you feel about the Iron 1200 going away? I actually like the Iron 1200 with the little mini ape hangers and the seat and everything. I I, I kinda I really like that like with the graphics and everything. I'm not a big fan of the 48 anymore, ever since we test drove them. Yeah. I'd rather have an 883. <laughs> I remember. Yeah. I was um, not happy with that bike at all. Do you think that it's, it's this is going to hurt Harley in any way? Or? No, because what they basically got it down to is 1883 model, 1200 model. Then they have the 1250 liquid cooled, and they're probably <clears throat> going to come out with a 975 liquid cooled soon. Uh, they're uh, going to run them next to each other for at least another year or two because. As much, that, as, much as people think that. Sports is bringing so much money as opposed to other bikes. It's really not like people think oh these bikes bring a lot of money But it's actually a really small percentage yeah, of small. the income that they're getting from most of the bikes Obviously most of the money comes from The dressers and your rope lights and your street lights and everything then obviously the soft tails But the baggers is where you know the big bulk big of the money yeah. comes from um, Okay, moving on to uh, which is the second one? The slim the slim. How do you feel about the slim? It's I can love it or hate it, but the problem is with the slim. When I'm looking at the slim, I like the slim. I would buy one, but then you look at the price point it's at, you're like, eh, I could just get a fat boy or I can get a heritage and be like for a little bit more. Because it's not a huge difference. That's the problem. And that's why Harley's cutting these models because there's a lot of repetitive crap. Yeah, makes sense. I, I, I think I think what, what the fat that they're trimming to me makes sense. Yes, me too. Um, it's, it's not like, I mean, last year they cut the Deluxe and even though like, I love the Deluxe, yeah, I think it's one of the most beautiful bikes, but it's it, it just wasn't selling as much. So, yeah. I mean, financially it just made sense to, you know, cut the fat with that one. But I do, I, what me with the Slim is like, eh, like, eh, okay, yeah. like, whatever. But I would rather have the Slim over the Deluxe. I know you think what? Yeah. You would rather have a Slim over the Deluxe? Yeah. Why? I just like the, the look of it better or whatever. Really? Yeah, I just, I, especially when they came out with that crimson and white one, tip, remember the two-tone, the crimson and white? Yeah. But I wasn't spending those 17, 18 grand nah. for that two-tone paint job on the Slim. No, I, I, th I think the Slim is a little bit overpriced for me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, that's why they cut it. You know, like, I, over the Deluxe Jerry? I don't know. You have disappointed me. I'll, I'll let you know when I go out and ride my cousins, oh, my cousins, my nephews, uh, What's it called? My nephew's uh, Deluxe. Yeah. I go, oh, you showed me a picture of those. Yeah, yeah, he's got a vehicle style with the wheel. Deluxe, man. Like, yeah. Who knows, man? Maybe one day we'll do a vehicle style here or something. Maybe yeah, it should be your next bike. Eh. I think my next bike <clears throat> might be non Harley Davidson. Ooh, let's not get into that yet. We'll yeah. see. We'll get it. That'll be another video. 
Um, all right, yeah, the Slim, I really don't care about the Slim, it's like whatever. It, I think, honestly, it's a cool looking bike. It gives me that, you know, retro, vintage look from the 40s and the 50s yeah. uh, with the modern type of style, but I can care less for it, so but whatever. I, I mean, honestly, I, I, I'm a little, like, a little disappointed it's going away, but I can see why it's going away. And I was more upset when they took away the regular lowrider last year. Really? Yeah. Why? Because the lowrider, we, we, we did the video with the two bikes and how you can build it out and everything. And, you know, maybe it'll bring the lowrider back. Who knows? Maybe it'll bring an FXR style kind of back. Well, we'll get into that towards the end yeah. of the video. Um, yeah, we're going to jump into a third bike and then we're going to jump into like the rumors of what's going on right now, what to expect for this next year. We'll do a little rumor report thing. Um, <clears throat> the third bike. This is one we called it last year. We called it last year, we, and we they they we kind of looked like we were wrong, but they're getting rid of it this year. Bye bye, Sport Glide. Yeah, so yeah, the Sport right Glide there. is now chopped out. Shing 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 shing. And it's just a shame after they put those color match bags on them and everything. Yeah. But they got a plan for those. Yeah, yeah. So the Sportster, I'm I'm I gotta be honest, I'm a big fan of the Sportster yeah. when it comes to certain things, but when it comes to others. I'm not like I know for you. You you pointed out the fact that's only a, a, a it's only a single disc brake in the front on a what is it eighteen thousand dollar bike seventeen thousand dollar bike having one well, oh, the sport guy yeah a, this one disc brake in the front is like and the wheels are uh, you know like whatever the yeah. wheels look a little different I I don't hate them I think they're okay fairings too small fairings too small it looks like a little it looks like a little bat wing but it, they should have made it look like Indian came out with a better bat wing on their scout. Than they did on yeah yeah on so yeah so I'm not a big fan of the uh, what I am a big fan of is the, are the bags yeah then the bags especially look, since they color matched they color matched for this year they look amazing I love the functionality of them um, but it, the sports the sport glide leaving do I care that's mm -hmm. another bike that I really don't care like, yeah I, I, whatever I want to buy when they first came out I was gonna buy one but what got me not buying one was because the bags were unfinished. Yeah. And then last year they came out with the bags, but I'm way beyond that bike. I won't buy uh, the Sport Glide anymore either. And that's why they're probably getting rid of them. Sport Glide, Slim, and the Sport Glides don't sell that much. No, like, neither do. I don't think Slim sells Slim much either. Slim don't sell as much either. No. Um, you know the ones that sell. Yeah. Um, yeah. So those are the three bikes that Harley Davidson. And that's confirmed. That's not a rumor. Fact. That ain't a rumor. What is it? Is that facts? Facts, baby. Facts. <laughs> they yeah. are gone. So these, these 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 are gone, man. That's. Bye bye. I, these are kind of bikes that I really don't care about. With those three bikes being gone, obviously they're not going to get rid of bikes and leave the roster kind of empty. They're, they're building new stuff. They want to bring more stuff to the market. Um, they're trying out new things, obviously. So we got the Sportster S for this year, brand new. We got the Pan America that was basically still brand new. Mm -hmm. um, what else did we get? Like new, 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 new. I think that I think that was pretty much it. That was pretty much the two big announcements. Right? The, yeah. Oh, and the Icon series, but the they, Icon came, series. they only came out with one bike. <laughs> they were supposed to come out with two. Yeah, so, but I mean the year's not over yet. True, but I doubt it. I think it's gonna show up in January. Yeah, I think I think in January we might we'll get we'll another get one. We get two maybe next year. Yeah. Um, which reminds me, you know, I saw one in Dubai, just sitting there, used. Yeah. Someone bought it and they returned it with like I think it was like 500 miles. That bike, I would buy that bike over the Arctic Blast that everybody was crazy crazy about. I would have rather have the. Uh, no? You like the Arctic Blast better? Yes. Really? Yeah. No. No. The Arctic Blast. Have you seen that paint job I, in person, I dude? Like the other, I like the other one better. I mean, they're, they're both beautiful. That the icon was like, ooh. Yeah, the icon is without me, man. Clean, clean. Yeah. But Arctic Blast is all day for me. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, those are the new bikes that were came out for this year, right? Now, there are some rumors. There's this huge rumor that's been going on for the past week or two already about the lowrider s coming out with an fxr t fairing re like redesigned and basically what is what the sport glide, the, the bags. Sport glide bags color match match in the back i'll post a picture right there so you guys can see it in my opinion well before we get into my opinion let's get something real straight this is something that i sat in this chair in this very garage 
Remember we sat here plenty of times. Like, mini bagger. Like, like, you guys need to make a mini bagger, all right? Because this is where things are going. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people, people don't want a full bagger. They just yeah, want to. They don't want the weight of a full. Bagger. You know, they don't want the weight that they want a mini bagger, and they want a, something at a cheaper price point, obviously. And then this, to me, this is something that I've been asking for. Like, I want one. I, I, you guys should make a mini bagger. And I was gonna build out a mini bagger out of my little rider S. And you guys saw that FXR P friend that I had here. Got rid of it already, but. Reason why I got rid of it was because I got the rope glide, so it didn't make sense for me to have a two baggers, two baggers basically, right? So that's that was the route that I was uh, was heading with this bike, um, and I had my little mini torque bags on there as well. So it was like a little, it was gonna be a little mini bagger, you know. Um, but uh, the design of the fairing, I actually like it. You you told me you like it because yeah. right, going back, it's, it goes it goes back to more of the original fairing. Yeah, because I I know you're not a huge fan of like you know the other ones. So, yeah, you know, no, I think this one I got to see it in person, but I think you know and I'm, and I'm hoping like you, you were talking about a radio, but I don't think they're going to do any of that. But even if they put speakers in there, you could Bluetooth it to your phone. It would be nice. That, that's what I'm saying. So if the, at least something to hook up to it. They they need to think about it. All right. Well, they can't just bring this fairing. I don't back. think they're gonna put navigation. <laughs> no, no, not navigation. But it it just it, they need to add something else to it. Like I think add a speaker, yeah, Bluetooth, Bluetooth, yeah, Bluetooth connectivity, speakers or, connected to you. Yeah. Or with, with a USB charger like mm -hmm. connected inside of it, that would be a huge plus. And if that's the fact, if that's the actual bike. I think that bike will sell like crazy. I mean, yeah. the low rider rest already sells like crazy. Yeah. So imagine having that special, special model. If, if they price it right, like if they go, this bike's what, seventeen nine 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 or whatever, yeah. eighteen thousand. So, so be, if they go not more than three thousand dollars more, it would have to be like twenty one seven something like yeah, that. Yeah. Twenty close to their twenty two. Then you're going into dresser territory. You might as well buy a road. Almost. Glide. You could buy a, a regular road glide or a regular street glide. So you're thinking about 20... I figure 22. 20,500? 20, 20, 21 would be better. Actually, yeah, twenty. Yeah, $3,000 over this bike. So I would anything more than that, I think it's too much. I'm thinking maybe 21. Yeah, 21 would be a, a good number. Harley, you got the number right on this bike. If you're out there listening. Harley, you got the number right on the Pan America. Pan Sports America Thoracic, I think, came in a little high, but hopefully you'll get the pricing right on the, the 975 Sportster and the regular 1250 Sportster, not the S model. Hopefully that pricing will come out right. Hopefully you price this bike, like we said, not more than three grand over. Well, if, if this bike is not gonna come out. Yeah. If, if it is coming out, then I, I think 21 is... A fair like, amount. Like, like, like if, if it's the fairway and it has speakers and everything. And bags, yeah. And the bags, like 21, I think would be... Yes. Like, that, that's yeah. a good number, man. I think that's a good you number know? too. Um, what else we got? Uh, other rumors that we have. Uh, well, they're not rumors. There are a lot of new colors ready for the new models. Oh yeah. Um, for even the, the, there's no color for the low rider S this year. Well, yeah. for 2022. Besides this black, there's one color. Yeah. What is it? Gunship gray. Gunship it's gray. Matches the CVO. 2018 CVOs had the gunship gray. I think that that's gonna look way My, better yeah. than, than the Barracuda silver. And I think that would look even better with if that has the FXRT fairing with the bags. Ooh. I might have to break down and buy a lowrider S. Some bronze. Uh, I don't know about bronze. Uh, hold on. What, the, the wheels? Some, some brass color, like a brass. Yeah, yeah, you, you probably might Bronze. Work. It's like a, well, the, whatever color that is. If they do like a battleship collection, but, 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 would be called but, like but, a but, worn look. You're not hearing me out. Hold I know, on. I know. I'm talking about pinstripe. Oh, okay. Pinstripe. On, on that fairing and maybe throughout the bike somehow. Ooh. Yeah. Amazing. Um, whatever rumors we have. I think those, those are the, basically the only rumors. Well, the two sports there's they're, they're supposed to come out the base. Well, the, the, the actual base sports, yeah. So that that's what we're looking forward for 22, uh, 2022 it as would well. Be, yeah, because if they if can get a 975 sports there and around that 10,000 mark, 10, 11, not too crazy, I might buy one for my wife to ride. Eight. And maybe I'll use it too. The 975 is gonna haul ass with the liquid cool motor. Yeah, it's gonna be a. It's not gonna be as fast as the, the 1250, but. Yeah, that's gonna be a hell of a of a, of a, a bike. Sports there, yeah. yeah. Hell of fun. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if this is new news to you, then here you go. And if it's not, then here you go too. Um, there's gonna be a lot of a few more follow videos to this because there's a lot of stuff that's gonna be coming out within the next few weeks and with the next few uh, next month or two from Harley as well. A lot of news on new bikes, a lot of stuff that's going away, a lot of things that are doing differently. And we forgot to mention the 107s. 
That is another rumor. Yes, there's another rumor. There's another rumor that, which is something that we spoke about last year. Yes. That, that we said, you know what, the 107s might be gone. So that's another rumor for this year as well, is that the, the 107s are kind of on the way out, which to me makes perfect sense. Because yeah, the Slim was 107 and the Sport Glide was 107. So exactly. get ready to those and come out with a 114 Lowrider S Touring with the bags and the fairing. That's a no-brainer. It's a win-win. Or, or you can make it a 117. That would be nice too. Because back when the, the older Rider S came out, I had the 110, yeah. which was the CBO. Mm -hmm. so I, yeah, I had a CBO with a 110. This could have, if they do that right, you know, 117. Yeah, that, this, this thing got me hyped already. I think I would maybe trim my bike. Well, if it's a 117, <laughs> it's going to be more than 21,000, I think. Yeah, it's going to be. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? I don't know. I'm just yeah. throwing stuff out there. Like, I mean, they might price it the same as the Street Glide and the Road Glide standards because. Like you said, there's people that even though it's at that same price point, it, it they don't want they don't want a standard, bigger right? bike. It should be. It, it should be cheaper than a standard. But they're gonna say it's not standard because it's the higher model. It's got dual disc brakes. It's it's a one fourteen engine, hopefully a one seventeen engine. So I mean, at, at that point, that might be the better bagger. True, because the suspension is a lot better. That mono than stock, stock yeah. yeah, the mono stock is way better. Um, all right, guys, that's gonna be it. Like I said, there's gonna be a few more videos coming out with a few more news and other stuff. Um, Jerry's uh, Pan America kind of broke down the other day, so we're talking about that in a separate video as well. Yeah. Um, hopefully, some of you guys, some of you Pan America owners, from what we know, happened to another bike or two already. Yeah, so yeah, it's weird. Um, yeah, we're gonna catch you on the next one. Like always, thank you for watching. Let the force be with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride. And enjoy Peace. the ride, baby. Peace! Yeah, dog. That was a badass Yeah, drink your liquor. <laughs> that would be fucking sick, right? Yeah.